Oh boy, boy goodness, we got a lot going on. So we, let's talk. Uh, um, in our pre-meeting, Amy and I had an extensive pre-meeting to discuss the topics today. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Emily, you weren't invited to the pre-meeting. So you're going to throw me under the bus Yes. <laughs> Catch yes. me off guard? No. The first thing I was going to talk about is the decorations you guys have been working on for the summer reading. So you guys, you guys pause. You guys have worked so hard. You've moved the ladder so many times past my I office. I so know. So what is going on? Explain. We are kind of going with a bee theme. A bee this theme. This summer. Bumblebees. Very summery kind of like be at the library or be a reader so it just kind of was catchy and it just sort of phased into that and um we kind of went with it so there's a lot of bee decorations and made a beehive my thoughts were that i would probably give away a couple of the um berkshire okay Mm. i didn't know which one berkshire honey and um this little guy (laughs) well actually it's a girl um well i think her name is Babs. Are we going to have a, a gender reveal party for our plushie? Miss <laughs> Amy, uh, she was talking about her bee decorations. Yes. Well, I went with a retro theme. Okay. It's come together, the song. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, tomorrow also we're going to have Miss Florence Thomas. Mm-hmm. It's going to have her 1971 uh, super beetle here. How many people are we going to stuff in the beetle? Uh, four. I think it's about all you can get in there. <laughs> come on, oh, man. come on. We're not going to try. <laughs> we, could, we could at least get 40 children that inside will be of it. Here That's before people. the hot dogs. Mm. After hot dogs, probably 38. Well, that will be here for people to take photos with if they would like. So tomorrow at our kickoff, which begins at 11 a.m. with inflatables, gourmet hot dogs, and free caricatures. So and they will be getting a hot dog? And what else? Uh, they get, Yeah. So tomorrow we have reading logs for the ones that would wish to use a reading log, but we're not going to measure prizes by reading logs. Mm -hmm. We're going to go with what we did last year with uh, the most checkouts. And that's the different age groups, which I will explain everything next week at our actual indoor program. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is just kind of be like organized chaos. Yeah, it's like (laughs) May. So, but I will explain everything about summer reading next Thursday. Um, But anyway, as for tomorrow, this will be given away tomorrow, and it's going to be um, by the checkouts. Okay. So so whoever checks out books tomorrow, their name will go in the drawing Mm -hmm. to win Babs. And of course, we won't know till the end of the day. Is Babs? What is Babs supposed to? What animal is Babs? It's a bird. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I think that is a children's. So, but I just want to say a little bit about summer reading and why we do it. One thing is we want to prevent the summer slide. And over the period of two and a half months, this says here. Right? <laughs> you brought that, notes to uh, our. I did. <laughs> Stepping it uh, up. Two and a half months of math skills are lost over the summer. Math alone. Reading skills. Two months. Teachers spend six to eight weeks at the beginning of the following year, the next year, trying to recap what they learned the prior year. We love our teachers and we want to help them out as much as we can, so that's what summer reading is all about, is preventing that summer slide. So if the kids will spend just two or three hours a week reading, and that's maybe 20 minutes a day, you know, I could avoid the summer slide. There we go. So that's why, uh, that's why we do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Um, so, yes, yeah, so I say here there are five pointers to summer reading. A reading log encourages kids to read. A reading log develops good habits. A reading log helps kids choose books that they'll enjoy. And a reading log fosters a love of reading. A reading log is a great way for parents to bond with children. And I agree with all that, but we pass out reading logs and people do not return them. So that's why we decided to go with the checkout system as far yeah. as prizes go. But I still encourage you to use a reading log at home. And if you would like to fill it out and turn it into me at the end of our mm-hmm. summer reading program, your child will be rewarded for doing a reading log. So that's just entirely up to the parents. That's just how flexible we are. Yes. You can get a reading log, mm-hmm. and it's great. But you don't have to. You don't have to. still have a wonderful summer. Yes. So speaking of wonderful and something that's not a reading log, do you have? This is do you a have a teen end of the summer reading prize. It's for ages twelve to eighteen. Ooh. If you have the highest checkouts over the summer, you'll be entered to win this baby. So how that works is when Look you every those t- blue wheels. Every time you check something out, you are you are entered. So obviously, the more you read, the more the greater your chances. And this is a craft. 
custom made Custom's long board. Long board. Cincinnati Cruisers. Cincinnati. Second year in a row they've given us a they've been wonderful. Long board. They've been wonderful. And each one it's like a it's a, it's artwork. It's one of a kind. Yeah. So so there you go. If you need that if you need that incentive, <laughs> it's there for you. And it'll be um, somewhere in the uh, teen area. I've teen area, I'm sorry. On display. Okay, so now it's, this is just, throw, just okay. So we got we got hot gourmet hot dogs. We've got a caricature artist. We've got books everywhere. We've got a, a long board. We've got a, a bug, and I feel like I'm missing something else on this one. And a plush toy giveaway. And this is the place to be it in is. all of Gallatin County tomorrow. This is the place to be.